and like being really fascinated by the idea that you could have kind of borrowed keys to the kingdom. Like you could be like holding someone else's keys, but they're still keys and they still work. The first pilot I ever wrote was about that. It was about um, women who kind of lived between fame and obscurity. I pitched it the week Lena Dunham sold girls, um, <laughs> and it was about 20 somethings, uh, but in LA. It was like entourage, but girls. And everyone was like, oh, we just bought that. When he won that Oscar, I would like had the script for like, cause we did a lot of like kind of question sessions where we just talked a lot. And I was like, what do you want? And you know, what's missing for you and theme and all of that. And then I took the script um, over the weekend that he won an Oscar and had to like hand it back to him <laughs> on the Tuesday morning. Slide it under his yeah, Oscar. I yeah, I was like, it's mostly draft. questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> what is that process though? Like that's pre him really getting into it, but is, is there ever a writing process where you two are sitting together or? The whole time. The whole time. The whole time we were production? sitting together. Yes, the whole time. So you we were, were there on set? Yes. Because he's a improv guy. Yes, I followed, did everyone watch the rehearsal? Okay, so that was me, Nathan Fielder with the computer. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. I literally walked around. I did not have a thing. Um, I'm gonna invest in that if I work with Taika again. But it was literally just me following him around, like typing with one hand, holding a computer and listening to, to him. Keep up. Yes. This is him like talking to actors, making talking up lines. Talking to actors, talking to, yeah, it's just like me and like six Chris's in a ditch um, <laughs> on, on, a, on a fucking there space planet. There are a lot planet. of Chris's in Marvel. Yeah, yeah. there's so many Chris's. Yeah. Um, but, uh, um, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was that. And But in the very early stages, it was, you know, kind of like, honestly, it was me asking him a lot of questions because I was like, what do you, what do you want? Because it was my job. It wasn't my job to make my version of Thor. It was my job to, help him make his version of Thor. Yeah. And so as his co-writer, the most important thing to me was like matching his voice, which I think we have similar voices in that way and in the way that we kind of like look at comedy and look at kind of like tragic comedy as well. But it was really about like kind of really trying to like needle him on like, what do you want? What, what was in that lookbook? Uh, in my lookbook, it yeah. was for Drea. It was a lot of 90s runway. Um, it was really wanting her to feel like nothing, I didn't want anything to feel trendy and of today. I was very, very specific in that like nothing should feel like it is, you know, off a rack today. And I really wanted it to feel without being so costumey that you're like taken out and you're like, no one would dress like it. I wanted it to be its own thing. I wanted it to feel like clueless. I wanted it to feel like even cruel intentions I think felt. And then for Eleanor, I knew that I wanted her kind of like a three act structure in her look. So the beginning is like 90s grunge and it was like Winona and Drew Barrymore and that look. And then when she's made over, it was very important to me that she wasn't just made over into Drea. It wasn't Drea making her Drea, it was Drea making her the version of Eleanor that was gonna be the most enticing. And so that was like this Warhol girl. And then the uh, uniforms, uh, I'd found these really amazing pastel uniforms that um, girls in South Korea wear. Really? I don't know that they wear them to school. I think that's just like a fashion thing. <laughs> uh, Alana did a bunch of research on it, so she she would know more than me. But um, And I showed them to Alana, and so then it was about finding kind of the perfect uh, fabric to create that Rose Hill uniform. 